Video footage unveils the daily turmoil on Aurora Avenue North in Seattle, showcasing the presence of fentanyl addicts and prostitutes. What's your recording hold? I've seen a bikini and inside a gas station. That's why I'm just wondering yeah, why. This is the blade be selling ass over here, so you can put your camera there. Okay. I ain't got no shame on my game. I, I, I dare you to run in those heels. I'd love to see you. Oh, shoot. Wow, you fast. Oh, my. Whew. North Seattle is lost. Oh, my gosh. And then you see this fella. Hey, bro. Hey, man, you okay? Yeah. You okay, man? What do you want, blues? You want blues? Now, you can't stay on the street, man. It's an alley. Someone's going to, like, hit you. Can we at least get you off the side of the street? Hey, bro, we got we to gotta get you on the side of the street there, man. All right? Come on. Uh, what, you want to roll? Uh, no, nah, man, I got to pick you up, man. The significance of upholding law and order cannot be overstated. The disarray on Aurora Avenue signifies a breakdown in local governance's ability to enforce laws and ensure public safety. The open visibility of addicts and prostitutes, especially around children, underscores the urgent need for stringent law enforcement against drug use and prostitution. Upholding individual responsibility and independence is crucial. Those engaged in drug use and prostitution are making detrimental choices that negatively impact themselves and their community. Efforts should be directed towards encouraging individuals to take responsibility for their actions, seek assistance in overcoming addiction, and pursue legitimate employment. The assertion that the current plan is ineffective suggests that existing government policies are failing. This situation calls for a thorough reevaluation of these policies emphasizing the necessity for effective solutions that prioritize public safety and rehabilitation.